Well, we turn now to I Team 8 and the Delphi murders. The suspect in the killings will get a private hearing to convince a judge to use public money for his expert witnesses. But how much money and what type of experts? I Team 8's Richard Essex went looking for those answers. Allen's court-appointed lawyers don't have the resources that the prosecutor's office has. In a closed-door meeting, it is expected that Allen's attorneys will lay out their defense strategy, which is information they don't want the public to know or the prosecutor. Generally speaking, the prosecution has the advantage in cases like this because even a small county has more resources than an individual when it comes to waging a, a battle in court. Richard Allen's lawyers, Andrew Baldwin and Anthony Rosie, who once argued to have records unsealed, are asking the judge to seal their request for more public funding. In the court documents obtained by IT Mate, they are asking for money to pay for expert fees, expenses, and investigative costs. In making their argument to the judge, Allen's lawyers will have to identify the experts, how they plan on using the information to prove he didn't kill Abby and Libby in 2017. They'll have investigators to go out and talk to witnesses. There were a lot of people involved in the search uh, for the girls when they disappeared. Uh, there are going to be all kinds of records that have to be collected. You're going to have to have paralegals assigned to the defense team. The prosecutor's office is required to eventually hand over all the evidence it has in the murders to Allen's attorneys. But this is not a two-way street. Allen's lawyers don't have to share everything until it's presented in court. I'm sure one of the first experts they're going to get is a ballistics or firearms identification expert concerning that uh, uh, unfired round that was found at the scene of where the uh, girls' bodies were recovered. Money is the great equalizer for any defense. Allen's attorneys will be asked by prospective experts if they can afford the fees. And the cost of the prosecution is also coming into play. A few weeks ago, the Carroll County Prosecutor's Office asked the county for an additional $40,000 to cover expenses. Crawford is a former Lake County prosecutor, and he believes that Richard Allen's defense and prosecution could cost taxpayers $1 million, double that if the prosecutor seeks the death penalty. And, and I'm sure that the powers that be in Carroll County are trying to figure out if they're going to have to float a bond issue or raise taxes to pay for the prosecution of this case. Unfortunately, I feel in Indiana, we don't have a mechanism to help small counties prosecute sensational cases like this. We don't have the financial ability to help them. The Carroll County prosecutor said in court that he believes that others are involved. Every arrest that leads to a trial could cost Carroll County taxpayers a million dollars for each arrest and trial. In Indianapolis, Richard Essex, Wish TV, ITMA.